Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are playing Sonic Wings 3 on the Neo Geo CD. Uh, and yeah, the biggest difference between the Neo Geo AES or MVS experience and the CD experience is this screen. <laughs> You'll see this screen an awful lot and for quite a while. I will obviously be fast forwarding past many of these screens but for this one which isn't so long comparatively we'll kind of sit this through this one together right so Sonic Wings is effectively uh, an arcade shoot them up with planes effectively uh, you'll see the different modes there uh, one of them was MVS basically that means well, if any plays by corner rules, so it acts like a bullet sponge, and you're expected to put in credits every now and again, which means you die quite quickly. <laughs> it's yeah, I mean, it's a I'm, I'm a fan of shooting ups, I, I and this is a pretty good one. It's effectively like 1943 on acid, like some of these. <laughs> some of the vehicles like we've got some normal ones here we've got some planes and some tanks but obviously we've just walked away from a building that looked like the Eiffel Tower that turned into a thing with, that shot stuff out of its hands <laughs> and we've just blown up something that looks especially like the White House Ooh, and coming out of a I don't know a dimensional vortex is a giant tank and this is uh, this is what I really like about uh, shooting ups on the Neo Geo is you tend to have these really lovely large sprites and it's not like other oh, that didn't last long it's not like other I really should use my special <laughs> yeah it's a bit insane this game there's no real auto fire on this standard Neo Geo controller. I've got the the giant uh, arcade stick, and you can probably hear it going in the background. And I'm not going to be able to mute that out particularly well. <laughs> yes, merely destroying the turret didn't help me. If anything, it made it worse. Hey, finally. Oh no, 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 we're still going. Now we've got a plane. <laughs> yeah, it's a hectic shoot up, but it's a nice one. It's pretty gorgeous. The sound's pretty good. And the graphics are, I mean, the graphics are lovely. The giant sprites, the scenery is really nice. The little effect there with the trans dimensional thing. Is nice. And all these weird planes. All these planes are all kind of based on uh, not just fantasy, but planes that were rumored to be being made during World War Two and stuff. So you get a lot of those. The ones like you saw, if you remember, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe, uh, a game on the PC, a particular favorite of mine. It was the flight simulator, but with these weird and wacky experimental planes. So think of it like like that, effectively, where it's got these really prototype planes that where the plans were found but they were either never built or they were never fully put into operation and they just go kind of nuts with that but you can see the inspiration when you look at the graphics but no, it's I mean yeah you could look at this and you can just say it's just 1942 1943 with nicer graphics but it's got a lot more of its own character and it's, it's just a good shoot map on its own right it is a bit, I mean it's a Japanese game, so it's a bit bullet hell. <laughs> and it's just these levels of boss because we've destroyed one part of this ship now and, and that just allowed other different planes to come out of the side. It's a lovely game, it's, it genuinely is. 
yeah, I think that's probably enough. You've seen how bad I am at games already. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you've got other comments to make, then please leave them below. See you next time.